Big Mike. Do you have any place to stay tonight? Don't you dare lie to me. Come on. Come on. The Blind Tide is basically the true life story of Michael Orr who's a homeless teen in Memphis who was taken in by a well-to-do white family. The powder room is right there, and we will be upstairs if you need us, all right? Okay. Sleep tight, honey. The universe created this family, got it going. They were doing great, and they were having all the success and the joy in the world, but something was missing. And then Michael showed up, and that was sort of the, the final piece to the puzzle. It's very much about taking stock of your life on a daily basis, being thankful for the things that you have, and also being aware of what other people don't have. And I think that you can get so wrapped up in life, whether it's your kids in the schools, cocktail parties and charity events, or whatever those things are that fill your life, and sometimes lose the idea that what fills your life is the people that are around you. It's mine? Yes, sir. What? Never had one before. What, a room to yourself? I bet when the two is took in Michael, not only did Michael grow and achieve something from the experience, but they were able to experience you have one now. changing someone's life in a way that, you know, not many people can say they have. Tony, here's your quarterback, all right? You protect his blind side. When you look at him, you think of me, how you have my back. Are you going to protect the family, Michael? Yes, ma'am. Good boy. Then go have some fun. Me being an athlete growing up, sports kept me out of a lot of trouble. And I think sports is a great teacher of life. I think that if sports is played the right way and played for the right reasons and coached the right way, it can really teach you a lot about yourself and about life in general and about how to deal with situations that come this, up. This young man plays for my team. And I'll defend him like my own son against you or any other redneck. The sport is the metaphor for this film. Family unit doesn't work unless everyone's working together. Team doesn't work if everyone's not working together. It is about family and it is about the hypocrisy of a lot of things. But working as a team or a family advances people faster and better than uh, someone by themselves alone in the world. There's my boy. Michael! <laughs> Way to go, bro. How you doing? All right, enough all that, young man. I think I need a proper hug. I'm good. Thank you, Mama. There's this myth in American life, and it is that the cream always rises to the top. They don't think that someone like Michael Orr doesn't get out. They don't think that the athlete, the star athlete doesn't get out. And the thing that, that sealed it for me when I knew I wanted to write his book, when it occurred to me that you could see in the details of Michael's life that if they had not taken him out, he wouldn't have gotten out. To open up your home to him, and, honey, you're changing that boy's life. No. He's changing my life. Cut. Do one more just like that. The miracle wasn't that Michael Orr was a fantastic football player. The miracle was that he survived it all. And that's the greater miracle than being a great football player or going in the first round of the NFL draft. The Blind Side. Playing this month only on Warner TV. The world's best television.